Some brands are just so good at making their respective products that their names have become inextricably linked to them. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 brands synonymous with a product. Chopstick, put your lips first. For this list, we're looking at those brands that have become so popular within their field of expertise that consumers, and the population in general, have started referring to the product itself as the brand name. We're only including tangible items though, so examples like Google, which is often used interchangeably to mean any search engine, is excluded. Hey, Frisbee, check that out. Ah! Oh! What do you say we get our frizz on before class? Number 10, Popsicle, Ice Pops. Ever since 1924, when the brand Popsicle was granted a patent, it has become synonymous with everyone's favorite summer treat. The Popsicle was discovered by accident in 1905, when 11-year-old Frank Epperson left a mixture of powdered soda flavoring and water outside overnight, which caused it to freeze onto the stirring stick. Are you cracker? Now with more intense flavors! <laughs> Only want a firecracker! <laughs> popsicle, a combination of the words soda pop and icicle, has sold really well ever since, and has become the go-to name for ice pops, even leading to variations like fudgesicle and creamsicle due to its immense popularity. There you have it! Anything's possible with Popsicle! Number 9. Frisbee. Flying Disc. You guys really think this is a police matter? To get your Frisbee back? Get your own f***ing Frisbee. Next time you're throwing one of these around and want to impress your friends with your knowledge, tell them you're throwing a flying disc, because that's what they're really called. Hey, Frisbee! Yes, technically, Frisbee is a trademark of the Whammo Toy Company, and they didn't take kindly to their name being used as a general term. Delegates, please, order. I must have order. Delegates, please, no Frisbee. Whammo's general manager, Edward Hedrick, perfected the existing toy in 1964 by reworking the top and the rims, which led to a more controllable flight, and the Frisbee has since become a worldwide phenomenon and the leading name in flying discs. Yeah. Number eight, post-its, repositionable notes. I know, prayer post-its. Though it may be owned by the company 3M, it's hard not to call what's known as a repositionable note by the name of a post-it, even though the company's patent for it actually ran out in 1997. The only thing he didn't have was the support of senior management at 3M. To overcome this, Fry sent samples to all the company's executives who quickly ordered more samples. These little pieces of paper are handy for sticking in and around your office, as well as relocating to different areas, hence their name. While trying to improve the adhesive that 3M used for tape, Silver discovered a less sticky glue. Created in 1968 by Dr. Spencer Silver, these notes have transcended physical paper due to their popularity, leading to sticky notes on Windows computers, among others. While Post-It's distinctive yellow color remains a company trademark, the name is used interchangeably with other colors and types of notes by people everywhere, not just by competitors, which makes this brand practically inseparable from the product. So a fresh Post-It note is always close at hand, again and again. Number seven, Tupperware, plastic containers. Dang it. Ever since 1948, when Earl Tupper released his invention to the public, these plastic containers have been storing food in fridges long after they would have otherwise gone bad and started to smell. Lock in freshness, Tupperware really locks it in. Based out of Orlando, Florida, Tupperware has become the leading figure in plastic containers for the kitchen and home, earning a revenue of $2.3 billion in 2010 alone. And I could have my Tupperware business, and I never would have ever guessed, though, that my little hobby turned into a part-time job, turned into a lucrative part-time job, and here we are, a full-fledged career, and wow. I couldn't be happier. This popularity is helped by Tupperware parties, where guests go to a gathering where the signature plastic products are put on display, and perhaps even used to store food, in order to generate more interest and sales. Hear that whisper? That's Tupperware's airtight promise to keep food's flavor fresh. Regardless of how they retain their reputation, airtight plastic containers used to store food will likely be always called Tupperware in everyday speak, regardless of the actual brand. Why don't you see if you can give that a nice tear?
Don't hurt yourself now. Number six, Q-tips, cotton swabs. Q-tips, the safe swab. Used for a variety of reasons, including cosmetic and first aid applications, cotton swabs are probably most widely used to clean your ears, even though doctors have constantly warned against it. Invented in the 1920s by Leo Gerstenzang, his original contraption was cotton wads attached to toothpicks. But luckily, they have since gone with a less pointy approach of a rolled paper handle. Q-tips were first made for babies and have been used by doctors, nurses, and mothers for over a quarter of a century. His original name for the Q-tip was Baby Gaze, but it's under the former term that they have become the highest selling brand of cotton swabs in the world, leading to the term being used as a genericized trademark for the product in North America. Q-tips, a swab by any other name is not the same. Number five, Windex, glass cleaner. Can Windex do the counter? And the table. I bet Windex could also clean windows. Are you kidding? This brand's signature blue color has helped it stand out from the rest ever since it was first released in 1933, and it has become the best-selling glass cleaner in the world. What do we call this new dance move? The Windex Touch-Up. The all-new Windex Touch-Up Cleaner. The Windex we know today wasn't always safe, as its first formula was nearly 100% solvent had to be sold in metal cans and proved to be extremely dangerous due to its flammability. You putting Windex on the tires again? Hey, I thought this was a professor. My, that's what I do, dog. Fortunately, it was reformulated after World War II, and we were provided with the quality, streak-free cleaning power we know today, which has resulted in Windex's leadership of glass cleaning products. Somebody gave me the mati. Put some Windex oh, on. Stop, please, please. Vula, this works. Last night, my toe was as big as my face. No. Number four, Jell-O, gelatin dessert. Fun to make and delicious to eat, Jell-O has been the worldwide bestseller in gelatin desserts since its popularity began to flourish back in 1904. Dessert? I didn't make dessert. Oh, instead, I made some fun. The snack itself was actually first created in 1897 but failed to make an impact until the Genesee Pure Food Company sent a large number of salesmen to hand out free cookbooks on how to make Jell-O and various recipes. Jell-O's my favorite. This proved to be an instant success for the dessert, especially thanks to its cheap cost and easy preparation. Jell-O is still popular today, with students on college campuses getting rather creative with the dessert by turning them into Jell-O shots. We are going to enjoy a civilized, grown-up holiday. Not too grown up. I made jello shots. We's going to get silly, bitches. Number three, scotch tape. Transparent adhesive tape. Whether you're making something simple or something simply amazing, making it is half the fun. Scotch make amazing. Like the post-its, the brand Scotch Tape is owned by the company 3M, and the product itself has been used to tape things together since 1930. <laughs> The name Scotch came about because it was slang for stingy in the 1920s, a term that was used by body shop painter Richard Drew after becoming discouraged with some of the new masking tape he was testing, and referred to the people behind the sample as Scotch Bosses. The Scotch brand soon became the leader in adhesive tape sales, helped along by the mascot Scotty McTape in the 1940s and 50s. So, before you ask for scotch tape, just remember, that's not necessarily what it's called. That's just a brand. Number two, band-aids. Adhesive bandages. Daddy boo-boo. What the? Oh my god. Okay, don't move. Stay here. Daddy, Daddy needs a band-aid. The term band-aid is used so widely and interchangeably for adhesive bandages that many people think that band-aid is the name of the product. As a mommy surely know, band-aid brand is the way to go. They are wrong though, as Thomas Anderson and a Johnson & Johnson employee invented band-aids in 1920. They quickly became popular during World War II, as modified and sterilized ones were shipped overseas. I'm stuck. It proved even more popular with the help of a famous jingle written by Barry Manilow, and eventually became genericized and used for all adhesive bandages due to their worldwide popularity. There's a used band-aid in my coleslaw. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Here it is, the most amazing food wrap ever developed, Saran Wrap. That's right, there's nothing like Saran Wrap. Oh. 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 In the face! 
is a fan! What, do you know that kid or something? I hope his pants get caught in a bloodbath ensues. What is with you today? Wonder Jelly, a super skin smoother, gentle makeup remover, a diaper rash preventer, dry line quencher. Number one, Kleenex, facial tissues. I need a Kleenex. Okay. Okay. Do you have a Kleenex? Many people have spoken that line, and many are actually unknowingly and unintentionally asking for a specific brand of facial tissue, rather than simply asking for a tissue itself. A registered trademark of Kimberly Clark Worldwide Incorporate, Kleenex is by far the most popular brand of tissue made around the world, and its name has been used interchangeably with the product since its introduction in the 1920s. Kleenex has entered the English lexicon and is even included in the Oxford English Dictionary, which signifies its role in history as a prime example of brand genericization. Kleenex has bless you. Do you agree with our list? With consistent quality and unmatched precision. Now, Mexacto goes wherever you do. What do you think is the brand most synonymous with a product? School needs Ziploc because life needs Ziploc. For more innovative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You see, this ain't your run-of-the-mill crapperware.